You know, me and Shamar Moore both got bald heads. Yeah. And I noticed right after that, that's where it stops. <laughs> Stomach flat. <laughs> That boy look right down, see his belt buckle and his shoes. <laughs> I look down, I just see Ty. <laughs> man, I've been, I've been knowing you a long time, long man. Long time. The last time we uh, sat down, man, we were talking mm. about settling down. So how's that going, man? Well, you know what? I spent a lot of time, honestly, pursuing this game, pursuing this career. Yeah. And, and, and I'm, re I'm really in a good place right now. I'm doing really well. I'm, I'm the lead of SWAT. I know I'm in a place because I've done everything I can do by myself, and now I need that somebody. I need that her. I need that boo thing. I need that partner in crime to do the rest of what I want to do. <laughs> to answer your question. Look at all these words. Ah. Okay, now, now here, listen, ladies, ladies. I'm old school. I'm old school. Uh, right behind this cat. I'm not just gonna go on Instagram and see your backside or see your, see your girlfriends and I'm not doing all that. I mean, I see it, I ain't blind. I'm, I see it, you know. But what I did is I, I, there was a young lady that I had eyes on and then I looked her up, I did some homework and I, and I watched some interviews of her and she's an actress, I saw auditions of her and I just, I got a sense of her vibe. And so I said, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna shoot out of the dark. And so I challenged everybody at my job at SWAT. I said, if you can find me this email, whoever gets me this email, I will say, I'll give you round trip tickets to either Vegas or Miami for you and your boo. And so they, they were hustling. Oh, they was hustling. So I got the email. I wrote a little something, poetry yeah. at the tip of my fingers. I was charming, I was cute. Yeah, come I on, I did boy. all that. That email led to our first date, which is on the red carpet at the Grammy. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you something. How's it going so far? It's cool. Like, you know what she said to me? She said, she said, you know, whatever the attraction is, the interest is definitely there. But let's let's work on being friends. Let's work, get to know each other. Let's 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 vibe it out. Let's not just speed through it because you cute, I'm cute. Okay, and let so me ask we, you. So we this, taking Shamar, our time. Have you talked to your mother about her? Of course. My mother's my partner in crime. So now your mama knows about her. Mm -hmm. When is she gonna meet your mother? Right now, we're not in a hurry, because that's pressure. When you meet people's parents, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. that's pressure. So, yeah, see, like I see, said, the fact that you want her to meet your mama, though, mm -hmm. see that right there? Right. That's a good sign. Mm -hmm. That's a good sign. Hey, let's talk about this TV show, man, because mm. you, 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 you playing this SWAT sergeant named Hondo. You're doing stunts. Mm -hmm. You in shape, man. What's the craziest thing you've had to do on this show? The action is on steroids. We're, we're doing an action movie on TV every week. That helicopter situation, that was 11 hours of shooting. I'm scared of heights. I don't like heights. <laughs> I don't like being up there like that. I just don't, I don't. And they were like, okay, Shamar, you got the job, your Hondo, get up in this helicopter and we're gonna take you 300 feet in the air and fly you around about 90 miles an hour. And, and I got out there and they gave me all the prep and the warning and the cables and they said, look, you're safe, you're safe. And I got like, 20 feet off the ground, and I was like, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. <laughs> yeah. mm and I was like, take me down. And so I started making all kind of racial jokes. I was like, this is white boy problems. That black folks don't do this. <laughs> I was like, but this ain't for black people. I was like, I was like and, they were, and you know what they said? They said, you're half white, get back up there. And then, <laughs> hey folks, we're gonna take a break. Shamar Moore's sticking around. We got more Shamar Moore. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm here with my buddy, Shamar Moore. Uh, okay, here's a question. Is it true that you have Barack Obama tattooed on your back? It is true. I have um, our first black president. On the bottom, it says freedom. And then up there on my shoulder blades, it's the expression carpe diem, which means seize the day. On the left side, in the letter C, is Malcolm X. And then in the D of DM is Barack Obama. And then down on the end is real small in the M is Martin Luther King Jr. If you think about seize the day, these are three heroes uh, that seized the day in their time and thought bigger than themselves and thought for all people. So a lot of that is why he is on my back uh, along with those other men. That's pretty good. I didn't know that, man. That's pretty good, man. I like that a lot. I, you, you got a huge fan base, man, and so we actually have a few ladies in our audience here who have some questions that we're gonna allow them to ask. So who's up first? 
Hi, Steve. Hi, Shamar. Hi, darling. So I had a question. Um, we know that you can jump out of helicopters, but is there anything that you can't do? Oh, wow. <laughs> is there any, you, know, you know what? <laughs> I shouldn't say this on national television. I said that I'm half black and I'm half white. Well, growing up, I played, my mother says I came out of the womb kicking a soccer ball, all right? <laughs> so what that means is I loved playing soccer my whole life. But when the white kids were playing soccer, I was playing soccer with them and the black kids were playing basketball. So I missed out. So I got what's called white man's disease when it comes to basketball. So I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> I, can play, I can play a mean game of horse but you around the world. Too. You play uh, baseball as well. Uh, no, baseball was my game. No, baseball, <laughs> like before any Hollywood stuff, um, I really wanted to be and, and thought I was going to be a professional baseball player. I, I can still, in high school and college, I was throwing about 94 miles an hour. I was a, I was a pitcher and an outfielder. Um, so I, I was good. I was good. I I just wasn't good enough. The cats at the pro level, they're on some special sauce. Yeah. That's something else. Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, I, and I was good, I ain't gonna lie, but, I, but I'm humble enough and real enough to tell you that I wasn't good enough. But baseball, before Hollywood, wow. that was my game. But basketball, basketball, but what's funny is, what's funny is that there's a myth, there's a stereotype that a lot of black people can't swim. Okay, well, I, I'm the black, uh, Michael Phelps, all right, so <laughs> <laughs> challenge me. I got you, I got you. <laughs> yeah, well, I fall in that damn water, you gonna find out that ain't no damn myth. <laughs> My ass is in trouble. <laughs> all I have is, I have, I have what's called get back skills. I got enough swimming in me to get back up on whatever okay. I fell off of. Okay. But I damn sure ain't right, done in there. Hold on. Oh. Once you hit the water and you start back to the get back, yeah. what's, your, what's your face look like? Oh, sheer panic. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got time for one more. Who we got, Anna Kay? Oh, yeah. baby girl, baby girl. Baby boy. She Hi, Steve. Shemosh. You got Hi, a wash. <laughs> Go ahead, what's your question? Okay, my question's very important. Okay. How many abs do you actually have? A six pack, <laughs> an eight pack, or a 12 pack? <laughs> we need to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I got, I got to hold my breath. I gotta hold my breath. <laughs> you gotta hold your breath. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. I got them. You got to dig round for mine, but they in there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my man, Shamar Moore. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're going to enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.